Tesla is now the number six car brand in Singapore by new vehicle registrations. Singapore's Land Transport Authority, the LTA, just released September 2021 vehicle registration data today. Let's talk about this. Welcome back to Investing in Darren. Click the subscribe button to stay updated to more videos on Tesla. Tesla nearly doubled vehicle deliveries in September 2021, going from 165 vehicles in August to 314 in September. Tesla delivers their cars on weekdays, from Mondays to Fridays. So 314 cars is an average of 16 cars delivered per day. What's amazing is that Tesla is doing this with only one service center that is still under renovation in Topayo. I'll put a link above if you want to see what the service center looks like today. Let's talk about Tesla's journey in Singapore. At the end of 2020, there were only 41 Teslas on the road in Singapore. Even at the beginning of 2021, we added just another 30 Teslas in Singapore. And most of these are parallel imports from other countries. Then, starting from late July, the floodgates opened. Tesla Singapore started official deliveries. Yes, it was small in the beginning. Eight deliveries in July, 165 deliveries in August, and now accumulating to 314 deliveries in September. This means that there are now 558 Teslas in Singapore sharing two supercharger stations. The first one at Orchard Central and the latest one at Millennial Walk Car Park. There are signs that a third supercharger station is going to appear soon in Singapore's East Coast. I hope this would be Singapore's first outdoor supercharger station. A good thing about having superchargers out in the open is that a lot more of the general public will see it. The marketing value for Tesla would be immense. And as COVID restrictions ease, that would be a great place for the Tesla community to gather together. Now, this doesn't mean that we shouldn't add more car park superchargers in Singapore. We absolutely should. They are practical and really popular drivers. But we can't deny as well that the first outdoor superchargers in Singapore will be a milestone. Looking ahead to the last three months of this year, Q4 is Tesla's most important quarter. We expect deliveries to go up. I just got back from seeing Gigafactory Berlin with my own eyes. And I'll put a link above to the factory tour. And that factory is ready to go. Elon has said that once they get final permit approvals, Gigafactory Berlin can start producing cars in two hours. We anticipate that Giga Berlin and Giga Austin would go live by end November. This means that Giga Shanghai can dedicate more exports to Singapore. Singapore is a small car market. There are less than 650 cars if you count normal cars, private hire fleets, and taxis. The number one car brand in Singapore is Toyota at 778 monthly deliveries, followed by Tesla at 314 deliveries. That's not too much of a difference from absolute numbers. Here's a fun challenge for the Tesla Singapore team and Elon Musk. I know all of you have been working really hard, but we also know that Gigafactory Shanghai can produce 1,200 cars a single day. What if we just take one day's worth of manufacturing, export all of it to Singapore, and make Tesla the number one car brand in Singapore in December 2021, beating Toyota? That would be a really nice year-end and Christmas gift. I know it's crazy, but I can only dream. And Tesla loves doing crazy things, don't you? If we assume that Tesla only maintains a current delivery run rate, that means that Q4 will deliver 314 cars per month times three, that gives us 942 cars in Q4. Add another 558 existing cars on Singapore's roads, and we will close the year with 1,500 Teslas. That's pretty amazing, coming from just 41 Teslas a year ago. What Tesla has achieved already in Singapore today is no small feat. Can you imagine any other car manufacturer entering a new market and being in the top 10 within the first three months? This is an exciting time for Tesla in Singapore. If you found this video useful, please click the like button. If you want to join me on a journey to see how far Tesla can go in this country, click the subscribe button. Thank you for watching today's episode. Have a good weekend.